An international dragon boat race is coming to Sarasota this October. A group of very special ladies trained to compete invited me to join them on the Hillsborough River. So tonight I'm taking action for your health, picking up a paddle to bring awareness to an event that will help thousands of women, maybe even someone you love. Jenny Clark loves to paddle. And with each pull, she feels stronger. And more in sync with her teammates. The Pink Dragon ladies are hitting the Hillsborough River, training for a historic dragon boat race this October in Sarasota, involving 107 teams from all over the world. And it's just a three-day party with 3,500 sisters. And every one of those women will have one thing in common. We have everything from the stereotypical grandmother to 30-something uh, active uh, singles. They're cancer survivors. 13 stitches. <laughs> That's as far as it's going to go. She wasn't exerting her no time more time. cancer for me. This program was started by a professor of sports medicine. It had always been a prohibition to do upper body exercises after uh, breast cancer surgery, and he was out to disprove that. But as the program grew, the emotional and psychological benefits became apparent too. How many years has it been then? Uh, 13, 14, 14. I like to hear that. Yeah. Only two and a half. You're going to do it. 13 is great. Reassuring women, if the cancer returns and you find yourself pulling through the rough waters of treatment again, oh. someone will be there to paddle for you. And if you're just struggling, someone will have your back. It let me know that there was life after cancer. 